Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Mods are here, and we got 23 new mods to take a look at today. For all platforms, we got 22 new, and for PC and Mac, we have one new. Heads up, it's a big bag again fertilizer probably i don't know i make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in game mod hub so get subscribed if you do that way you never miss any starting off today new mods for all platforms we got the john deere 6155 ilma 2020 this is from cayman and it is going to be a total of 20 slots if you guys are on console we got 172 horsepower we got the command quad plus 2020 transmission very cool we also have a 270 liter capacity for fuel 24 miles per hour and 6.8 eight tons as you can see from the decals designs and everything around it is very very detailed a lot of time has been spent on this so let's take a look at the customization options that we've got configurations we got standard <laughs> oh that disappeared didn't it uh standard 360 kilogram front weight 560 760 we have a 1010 as well as a three point very similar to stuff that we get in farm sim 19 wheel brands we have trial bork michelin tires midas continental bkt frostine and back down wheel setups of course you've got all kinds of stuff so just kind of choose what you like go through there's a lot of really neat stuff through there configurations we have standard beacon left beacon right both of them or neither configuration without gps we can throw that Starfire 6000 with the GS4640 on there as well. You even have the uh, SF6000 RTK. So that's pretty cool as well. Front loader attacher. We got the John Deere. We also have the Quickie and the Hauer. So that's cool to see all three of those. Uh, do keep in mind the Quickie and the Hauer are going to be black. Engine setup. So we've got a 172 horsepower engine. Or you can throw that... Uh, Actually, it looks like it's just the transmission options that are changing with this. So, of course, we start with the plus 2020, but you can also do with the Eco Shift 2020 as well. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what the difference is between both of these. So, uh, jump in, check it out. Of course, you got your license plate. Next up is going to be the Burstman Shuttle Series Loading Wagons. These can be found in, of course, your loading wagons. We've got two versions. We've got the uh, 450 and the 490 as well. Both of these are going to be nine slots on console, so that's pretty simple and easy. As far as the smaller one, the 450, we've got a 45,500 liter capacity, and it's going to weigh 11 tons. Also, 240 horsepower required at 10 miles per hour. Trailer Borg, Michelin, BKT, Stein tires, covers, yes or no. Ooh, that's a nice cover. Let's leave that on there. We also have silage additive if you want to. That's pretty standard. And then main color, you've got a bright white or a gray. As far as the 490 goes, this is 49,500 liters. 13.1 tons. <laughs> you got Yoni this morning. 300 horsepower required 10 miles per hour. And we have the exact same customization, no matter how you look at it. Perfect. Next is the Lizard Tandem 18T Pack. And we say pack because there are two. We have an auger wagon trailer, which holds your normal auger wagon crops. And then we have the Tandem 18T, which holds all of your normal crops. You can see down there at the bottom right hand corner all of the things let's go over some customization on here as far as slottage you got four slots two thousand or twenty thousand five hundred liter capacity very nice through there about five tons trailer board commission bkt Stein tires wheel setups uh, we do have some nice setups through there and we got a 404 so let's go with that uh coupler configuration so we've got a normal hitch or a ball hitch so that is nice some things don't support one versus the other so that's nice to have cover yes or no so you can throw that on there if you want to we do have a main color we change this to whatever we want unfortunately actually no it's design color main color we change that up we'll just go with a uh, dark green there we go design we'll go with yellow that's going to be on the top and then rim of course or rim colors we'll go with the blue just so we can see everything and of course we got that k-bot sucks <laughs> <laughs> love that on the back there you go so that's that customization quite literally exactly the same i like that that's pretty sweet the next one's pretty cool this is the lizard field bin so this is from slusha's modding they released this in farming simulator 19 as well but it is back and super cool because at the end of the day it's an auger wagon right but you can fold it up and the, the wheels will kind of raise up, bringing the whole bin down. It'll sit flat in the field. So you can pull up to this while it's in the field with your combine or your auger wagon, something like that, and throw in what you need. You can see at the right hand side at the bottom, we've got all the normal auger wagon crops, 30,000 liter capacity as well. Not too bad. Main color, we'll change this up to yellow. So that's going to be the frame at the bottom. Design, we'll go with the green. That's going to be your pipe and then rim color. 
pretty obvious what that's going to be. We'll go with red. There you go. So that's your field bin. Four slots as well. Super low slots. Next up, we've got the Raby Bluebird 6000 from the SMI modding team. So this is kind of neat. We've got six meter cultivator. There's two of them in this pack. One is a rear cultivator, which is pretty sweet design. Throw them in a little blue on there. Or you got a front cultivator here as well. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the really cool thing about this one, it could be used on the front or the back. However, the other one can be used only on the back. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. This is pretty cool. I really, really like this. They're both six slots, so that's not too awful. Plus, it's from the uh, SMI modding team, so you know the customization is going to be fresh. Look at that. And these look good. Next up from AAA modding, we have the Fortress B125. We're starting to get a bunch of the Fortress stuff, but no tractors yet, which is Kind of surprising, but hey, we've got plenty of time. Configuration, go with blue, brown, green, standard, all good, good to go. Uh, this is going to be a plow. It's a smaller plow, 1.5 meter, 80 horsepower, and weighs about a ton or so. So all you need is about a uh, 800 to 1,000 kilogram weight on the front, and you'll be perfectly balanced. Also, low slot count as well. Two, two, two two slots. Our next new one is the Lizard RDMR 300. This is from Hulse FS and it is a mower for you guys uh, or bush cutter, however you want to call it. Main color, we do have a color here. So red, green, blue, and yellow. You can change that up however you want to. Three slots on console, so not too bad. Weighs 800 kilograms, 100 horsepower required, 3.4 meter working with at nine miles per hour. And it does have uh, iron wheels as well. So that's kind of cool. They didn't just throw on some kind of random wheel. And got something a little bit different. I like that. If you're looking for a Massey Ferguson trailer, yeah, there you go. Forgot what the word was. Well, we got one for you. 15,000, 17,000 point two. Uh, either way, back and forth between those. Very, very cool to see a Massey Ferguson trailer in the game. Not a lot of customization though, and uh, but it does hold everything, so that's nice. Four slots for you guys if you are on console. And that's quite literally it. Not a whole lot going on with it. Next up, we've got the Shootamaker Siwa Pack. So this comes with two trailers. I believe this one was maybe one that was a base game, Farm Sim 19, something like that. Looks familiar. Regardless, let's take a look at these. So two trailers, six slots for both of them. So that's nice and easy to get out of the way. It's from Nico Pixis, so you know they're going to be good. 48,500 liter capacity for the first one. And we've got an extension as well that you can throw in there to make that up to 54,000. Now, if this looks pretty familiar, um, it should, because I believe this is the Forge Wagon version of the um, Shootamaker Rapide that we've got or don't have rather uh, would be nice to see that coming back regardless uh, here you go you can kind of mimic it will brands we've got trailer board commission uh we do have a nucky and tire as well as well as bkt so that's cool uh, and we got big wheels on those as far as your smaller version well we do have an extension on there as well same wheel options so that is nice to see next we have the degelman pro till 40 this is going to be a disc hero but it's nothing new because if it looks like the case IH that we've got well you're absolutely right that's what it is i think they've just taken this and rebranded it to a Degelman. Nonetheless, still nice to have more options for players to use. This is going to take up nine slots for your own console, 14.5 tons, 615 horsepower. So she's a little heavy, uh, 12 miles per hour or 12 meters at 11 miles per hour. No customization whatsoever. Next up, we've got a mod that's super cool and is back from Farming Simulator 19 uh, by popular demand, the small flatbed trailer from Mac Trucker 921. Only six slots on this one and it holds everything dj this is a it's a trailer how's it gonna hold anything because you can put a tipper pad on it whoop, whoop. you can also do logging on here if you want to as well so that's pretty cool you've got trellaborg tires you also have lizard tires nook in so pick what you like through there and flat frame flat frame with a rear hitch so you can throw a rear hitch on there or you could do gooseneck baby gooseneck with a rear hitch and you can all all kinds of stuff that's cool very cool so you could do you know like a uh a dump trailer like if you're doing construction or something like this we see these all the time here with people working on houses just throw all the junk in the back as a matter of fact my uncle has something similar to this that he used to get rid of a tree in my yard how about that that's cool um let's see let's go down to cover yep you got one of those if you want to main color we'll change that to yellow that's going to be your frame design we'll change this to red it's going to be the box and then the rim color of course is a rim color 
Not bad. I like this. Um, it seems that my options are a little bit expensive, though. <laughs> uh, the tipper bed cost how much? Hold on. 50 grand? No, thank you. I'm good. For this next one, I was a little bit confused at first, but it makes sense. So this is the Paladin Standard Skid Steer Bucket. And the first surface, you're like, we already have one of these. Well, the one that we've got is actually a high tip version. This, well, we got our normal stuff. Plus you can change this up to black, which is very, very nice. 750 liters for that one. And if we back out, we could take a look here. This is a high dump bucket. So this is gonna dump. So it is different. And this one, we only got two versus three. However, I will say uh, with it being copied, more or less, uh, this holds a lot more. So it's just surprising, shocking, however you want to look at it. Uh, nonetheless, there you go. There's your Paladin 750 liter bucket. We're getting there. I think we're like halfway done or something. <laughs> anyway, we got the barrel weight pack next from FBX Modding. In this pack, we've got two little baby little weights. These are cool. Look at this. It's a barrel, but it's turned sideways. I love that. That's so cool. It's different. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Now this one, of course, we've seen one of these before. Obviously, you can change up the color, do whatever you want to. Uh, 500 weight and 350 weight on these. This is cool, man. I love this. There's just something about this one. FBX, thank you. This is cool. They're both one slot, so super low slot edge on here. It's just neat. Yeah. Next up, we have the Standing Rake. This is uh, gonna cost you 140 bucks, which is a super expensive rake. Uh, nonetheless, trying to enunciate because I don't want to get in trouble for saying bad words. Thanks, YouTube. You always make me do that. We got a bunch of different color options to go with, so let's go with pink. And you know what? No, it's, it's almost Valentine's Day. Let's go with a nice bright red. Let's go ahead and lease one of these because you can do that, evidently. Let's turn on our windows. And it's already stuck through the map. Because of course it is. Why would it not be? Um, there we go. All right, so it does say not to make any uh, quick, crazy, wild movements. Uh, this cheaply uh, get rid of straw and stuff like that. We'll go ahead and drop it again. Okay, so it didn't fall through the map that time. It is very small, at least down here. Am I up in the air? Nope, not up in the air. I can't, I'm <laughs> having a hard time picking it up. H hand tools are interesting because they're not really, uh, and evidently doesn't want to move TMR. Uh, hand tools are very, very difficult to use in Farming Simulator. Uh, there's a reason that they are not built into the game as such, but, uh, you know, oop, oh, no, nope. turns out we can move it. I just can't, it, it, it exists, and you're probably gonna rage quit trying to use it, but it is cool that we're still trying to make things like this happen. If you're trying to do stuff with your hands, well, there you go. <laughs> the uh, the unfortunate thing is it says it's getting rid of stuff and I kind of see it. Oh, I dropped it. All right, well, let's move on. Next from Omatana, who just happened to comment on my Twitter post, by the way. What up, Omatana? She's a good friend of the channel. She has released the fermenting silos today. The silo present or produces silage from grass, hay, or chaff. All you gotta do is put the grass, hay, or chaff in here, and then boom, silage out here. So let's go in and take a look at it. So here it is, 1,000 in, 1,000 out. That's great, so you're not losing anything. And it's going to cost you two bucks per month to run. Um, or Product cost, yeah, production cost, two bucks per month. Uh, cycles per month runs 120, so it's gonna run a, a cycle, what is that, once every 30 minutes in game, something like that. Or uh, if you're running one day seasons anyway, you should definitely run one day, anything more than that, it's just annoying. Anyway, grass, hay, or chaff silage, they're all there, do whatever you want. The good thing is you can put a bunch of those in, you're getting silage out regardless. This is a cool mod. Um, I have been pretending to do something similar to this in my, Gameplay series right now on Comstom Farm, but I'm probably going to place this down and actually do it for real instead of cheating it. I mean, making it magically happen. Uh, let's let's move on. Next up for Matty J Mods, we got the carport for vehicles. This is going to fit some smaller stuff. You can put like a truck in here, your Mahindra, the John Deere, something small, things like that. You're not fitting anything big in there. You can also probably fit one of your small compact tractors in here as well. That is pretty cool. This is going to cost you 25 grand, which is a little bit high. 
And that costs 10 bucks per day, also a little bit high. Um, it says it's seasons ready, which cracks me up because in Farming Simulator 22, everything has to be seasons ready. So yeah, there it is. We've also got a new fence set up. I think this is our new, our first new fence. So that's pretty sweet. This is the Meadow Fence Pack. So we've got an openable uh, gate right here that works perfect for it. And we're gonna borrow our fence. How cool is that? Let's go in and take a look at it. So uh, what we're gonna do is go into decorations, we're in fences, and we go to the very end. And we can simply draw the fence however we want. How nifty neato is that? Plus, we have the gate as well. So we can just throw an extra gate on the edge. And it even shows you which way it opens. So when you're placing it down, it makes it super, super easy. Look at that. We even, even go in between a couple different ones right here. Oh, and there's a collision. I mean, I expected there to be, but <laughs> there is. Aha, look at that. I have been made a fool yet again. Zodal Zocked and get two days in a row with mods for console players. This is super, super cool. So we got the Lime and Beet Pulp production. Um, we got a, basically a Stone Crusher and a Sugar Beet Crusher. These are cool. Uh, everybody seems to be using these designs and changing them up just a little bit, but hey, that's okay. That's what it's all about. So let's go into the first one right here. This is going to be our lime production. So 4,000 liters of stone in, 2,000 liters of lime out. Not terrible. And then we have the same setup, but for beets. This is 4,000 and 4,000 out, by the way. So this might be a good, easy way to do a lot of beets at one time. Right now, we've only got one option for making beet pulp. Yeah, only one, or uh, chop beats rather. So this is going to be, I believe it's in, was it front loaders? Here we go, front loaders. And it's this, that's it. You have to use this if you wanna do anything. And a lot of people have found some very in ingenuitive ways of using it. Why do that anymore? Just get one of these, it's awesome. This next mod is just super cool. So this is the storage piles for earth fruits and stones. So all of your earth fruits, so potatoes, sugar beets, um, silage, beet, pulp, things like that, those can be stored as well as stones, which are right here. So you just kind of walk up and you see the uh, thing. So of course we've got that there. If you want to find these, go into uh, buildings, go to silos, and here they are, 25 grand each. They hold a million liters and they only hold one thing of this. So you can see the sugar beet pile, you also have the stone pile, potato pile, beet pulp, and silage that's so cool those are epic three more to go i promise we're getting there next is the farmhouse yes just farmhouse uh right here you've got a small house where you can sleep you've also got a place where you can change your appearance just rocking with the normal dude right now no blue mohawk today however still very nice you can't go in it obviously uh, a lot of them you can't they have uh, seemingly reuse some interior marks. I can't tell if they're custom or something like that, but at least it looks like something that should be there. It's a little bit smaller, which is nice, 25 grand, so it's a little bit cheaper. All of the above, ticks all the marks, very good. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today are the Medium Bunker Silo Sets. We've got two of them. They'll be both hold about a half a million liters, something like that, uh, and they're gonna be 60 bucks per day each. One version's got a uh, angled front, the other version is a squared off front, and that's quite literally the only difference. Both drive through, so if you're looking for something like this, well, it's here. And lastly, we got the water pack from Omatana. So this has got a stone well, it's got a uh, small wooden pump, and you've got your fire hydrant as well. And if this looks familiar, it's because I think we already have something like this. Now they are letting multiple things through, which is great to see, however, it does cause a little bit of a problem when releasing mods. For example, uh, we already have the water hydrant mod and we already have this version as well. Now this does not have water in it and the one that we did have does. Um, and then, <laughs> was that a, was that a well? So that's a different well, but uh, these are gonna be found right here. Uh, but yes, you, you may see things that, well, we've already got a couple of the things in it. Oh, this is interesting as well. So uh, the version of this that we had doesn't have a marking on it, but this one does. So there are differences, uh, but they look virtually identical. So heads up, you may see things that we've already got, but 
it is nice to have more options nonetheless. And your last mod today, it's going to be for PC and Mac players only is, uh, well, I said it was probably fertilizer seed. It's both. Uh, you got the Polish fertilizer palette bag, big things. Yes. Um, we've got, was it three different fertilizers, all 500? Well, the middle one's 600. Uh, and your prices are a little bit differently depending. It just is what it is. They're, they're not, they're not any different. <laughs> And you've also got seed as well. It's cool to have extra options. Um, it's just stuff like this. Sometimes I look at them. Eh, eh, I don't know. It is what it is. And the end of this video is what it is. I appreciate you guys watching today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed. If you're new, join the Goham Fam channel members. I release videos early for those guys throughout the week. So you get early access to things like Comston Farm and other things as well that I'm working on. So heads up there. Also, uh, no Farm Sim show this week. And of course, no Farm Sim news today either. I posted the testing list, but there's unfortunately no news right now. So hopefully we will be back with that tomorrow. Got a big weekend planned for you guys as well. So stay tuned. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.